hi guys this is julissa thank you so much for coming back to my channel today is november 15 2020 i wanted to make a quick video here on my channel um about two things that i've seen happening um in the past you know in the few hours in the past few hours anyways as you guys know if you follow my channel for a while now you are aware that i had made a video that had gotten a lot of views regarding singer Selena Quintanilla and how I was back then a huge devoted fan to her. Um, as you guys know, I'm a Christian. In this channel, I'm just giving my opinion and my testimony when it comes um, in regards to that and about the music industry and everything that's part of Hollywood and all of that. Here's the thing. Um, so I, you know, people say, you know, like, say a lot of bad things about the video that i made people forget that this is my channel and i give my opinion and my testimony if you don't like it, it's very easy to just you know not watch it um but i understand um the body fans to her can get really angry when you're saying something that goes against their wishes or anything that could somehow um i guess you can say put selena in a bag a spot but that was not my point at all i'm just saying this is what i was and this is where god brought me out of um just to kind of help anybody out there um sometimes there are days that i look at the comments and i try not to look at them i start reading them and i know where it's going so i immediately for my own say uh sanity and health i don't read it um people always say you know turn off the comments so you don't have to read that but the thing is like i i get negative comments about it but i also get the great comments about it when it comes to people finding out christ and turning their lives around and knowing that following a celebrity is not how a christian or a child of god should be living their life so i will not turn the comments off as of right now i know even her dad commented on the video i know um people that i met during my years of being a super devoted fan commented on the video against everything that i'm saying you know um i used to be one of those people nobody could tell me anything about her negative nobody could tell me that i was so set, obsessed with it what i will say you know i'm just a fan she she was a great person she didn't do nothing wrong to anybody so let me just do my own thing people have their own choices to do my video is about my testimony and life and the meaning of life and not really and you're following somebody who you don't know where it's at at the moment but anyways i'm not going to talk about the video again obviously i already made that video i'm talking today about how this thing keeps on growing when it comes to her yes recently i read because people are always saying to me you're so into everything about her that's not the point when you're watching tv when you're browsing through social media you see pop-ups that come up and things that come up that are happening with her brand and her image and all of that so it's not that i'm searching for anything you know um but I do search f for one day to one day read that the Quintanilla family um, decided to just stop the whole thing and turn their lives to Christ, you know, and saying that it's about time they should turn their lives to Christ um, and realize that they've been used, I mean, they've been putting this young girl to work since age nine and it's been 20 plus years after her death and she's still working. And all of that, that's what I hope to one day see, that they are, you know, because I think about them. Um, and so I pray for them and for them that turn their lives to Christ because idol worshiping is so against God. But anyways, I was reading, you know, the Netflix series came out, all of that. Um, I don't watch it. I have no interest in, interest on it. Uh, whatsoever you know it's so crazy because julissa back then would have been sitting in the couch eating her pepperoni pizza waiting to see the series but anyways thank you jesus brought me out of that um so i read something interesting which i thought you know i know the movie like i know her history people it's not that i'm trying to say i do research on her my research i was a devoted fan i know her history i know the dates they're like implanted in me 
you know, I remember dates. I remember when the movie came out. I remember the auditions and all of that. I remember when Jennifer Lopez was selected. They did all these auditions for like a week or so. So many girls dressed up like her. And they ended up um, selecting Jennifer. And then people went crazy saying that Jennifer is from Puerto Rico. She has nothing to do with Selena. Anyways, so I remember that. I also remember the name Montezuma Esparza. Um, I remember him from when the whole movie came out. And I just was reading, like it came on my Google notifications that and that he's suing, he's actually suing the entire family. He's suing um, the family regarding the Netflix series. So I don't want to get into the details of that loss or nothing like that, but I just feel like he's crazy. And this is what Hollywood and idol worshiping does do. Somebody who decides to use their kids to do that you know they're they're fighting over the story of selena and montezuma esparza who produced the movie i think he was the producer of the movie back in 97 he's saying that suse and mr quintanilla signed over the rights to tell selena stories and now he's suing the family because of the netflix series you know it's like What's, what's the common denominator here? It's not even Selena, it's the money. And he, he always been the money. With the excuse to keep her memory alive, it's always been the movie. I thought that was so crazy. Um, but you know, um, everybody is so crazy. Every, everybody who was, I guess, surrounding her was just trying to get something too. Just think about it for one second. Everybody was trying to get something too. And this is why um, I always question, um, you know, when I was to be like reading about her and all of that, I always wonder how this person working with her family the entire time. And when she decided to open up her boutique, her dreams, the fashion and everything, she had to reach out to outsiders, which is the killer, which is the doctor, which is... You know, you would think that, you know, obviously she was extremely busy and all of that, but she, because she wanted to do her dream now, everybody seemed to have kind of like disappeared. You know, she had to hire this lady, you know, to put her in charge, somebody who didn't know anything about managing a boutique, dealing with clothing line, nothing like that. And I just think about that. And it's almost crazy because it feels like everybody was just trying to get something um, out of her. And, you know, like, I don't want to put guilt on anybody. It's been so many years and all of that. But it's something to think about. Anyways, that was my my thought about the lawsuit that Mr. Montezuma Sparks is doing to the family. Um, that should be interesting because how do you... How do you tell a family that they cannot talk about their own kid? You know, I just think it's interesting, but that's another reminder people that at the end of the day, Hollywood is Hollywood and they're just trying to make money, you know, and they will use the image forever because they're trying, you know, there is a, there is a, a market for it. So they're trying to make money out of that. Um, so, so anyways, another thing that I saw, um, it goes kind of tied up with the whole Hollywood theme and all of that, is, I'm going to put the video at the end, this producer, this director of this movie called Missing Megan, um, or Megan is Missing, something like that, um, he was, yeah, Megan is Missing, that's the name of the movie, so he is, this movie came out in 2011, recently has surfaced this video on TikTok about people who are saying that after watching this movie, they have been traumatized by it. And then we have the director coming out, making a quick video, saying to people, giving them warnings. I mean, how, what is your purpose in life? That you are creating something and you have to give people like, warnings before they watch it and this goes tied up about things that you know if you're a christian you believe in christ you should know by now that the music industry and hollywood industry is not something that you should be um playing yourself with 
you know, everything that you watch on TV has a purpose behind it. Um, there are movies, you know, movies that I saw in my college year, high school year, you know, the Blair Witch, Blair Witch Project. I remember not being able to sleep after that, you know. Um, thank you, God. I don't watch any of those movies anymore. I'm saying there's a re there's an entrance that you give to yourself and to your family and in your home when you start watching these thematic movies, you know. When you have a, a director giving you warning before you watch a movie, you know, it came out in 2011. Now everybody's going to watch it because it has resurfaced. You know, you're opening the door to evil spirits. And you have to take things like that very seriously. Guys, I'm going to make a video, the English version, about a demon that I saw. And I'm going to give my testimony about that. Um, I'm going to be doing that video hopefully this week. Because I feel like people play with fire and then think they, they, there's two kingdoms. There's kingdom of God and the kingdom of darkness. And it's very serious, people. Do not play with evil spirits. Okay, so you're going to see at the end of this video, this movie director giving you advice before you watch his movie. So, people are saying they're traumatized by the movie. Um, people are saying so much like that in the movie series. So, um, I remember watching that too because I'm telling you, like, thank you God he brought me out of that, you know. I was in my college days and I watched that with my friends in college. And I never sat in a theater where people were so frightened that they were so quiet. Like people had no reaction. We were just glued to the screen about the first movie that is called Saw. Um, when it first came out, we were so crazy. And then um, I remember being in the, my college dorm and I'd be able to turn off the light to go to bed because I, I was so scared, you know? So these are just open doors that we do to evil spirits to come into our house and to our places you know i just feel like you have to open your eyes you know if you if you want to see things you know if you want to first of all you want to god to reveal things to you don't waste your time watching these movies that are evil you know don't waste your time listening to this music that is evil you know, I talk about the fashion industry, guys. This is what I seek for. I wanted to be in fashion and all of that. And then I remember I was subscribed to so many magazines. All the magazines that you can name in the fashion, I I was subscribed to it. First of all, because I would get it for free. So I'm like, sure, I'll get it, I'll get it, I'll get it. And I remember getting so many of them all the time. And at one point, I'm looking at it and at the makeup. And... It cannot look more demonic, people. And I'm like, who inspired this? You know? Who inspired this? I mean, the signs are out there. You just have to open your eyes for it, you know? Allow God to guide you to things that are just keeping you in the darkness, you know? Um, I didn't want to, you know, I just want to put out an awareness out there because we're battling, you know, our fight is not against flesh and, and, and bones, you know, like the Bible said. It's about principalities of the darkness. You know, like, think about that for a second, you know. Don't let movies, singers, you know, like evil spirit come into your house just because you decided to watch something like that. You know, God said, you know, I'll give you peace that passes all understandings. And here you are renting a movie that's going to put fear on you. Like, think about that for a second. Don't don't open your eyes to all of that, you know, because there are movies. You know, you watch a movie sometimes and you're like, hmm, especially the ones that are, like, based on a true story. Then you are researching on Google about it. And by the time you find the address of the house where it happened, there you are Google, and, you know, you are now you're able to see the location. You're like, let me see what the neighborhood looks like, you know? This is what it is. It, it links you to something else. And you think, oh, it's just innocent. I'm just searching on Google. Nothing crazy. You know, then you're, like, it's already in your head. So it's going to grow. So might as well not even watch it to begin with. Right? Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching this channel. Feel free to leave a comment. You know, I know the times, like, I'm telling you guys, the times where I felt uncomfortable in the church, where I felt... Um, that people didn't like me because I was a, um, a devoted Selena fan. Um, I, you know, those are the times that God is dealing with you and he wants you to change and pay attention. 
you know we're living in, in hard times you know god jesus can come back any moment you know the signs are out there look what's happening to everything that's happening you know we're living with a pandemic that's not going away we're living with we don't even know what the results are people are losing jobs it's going you know it can be discerning at times but you know like like i said in my previous period that doesn't mean that you fall down and be like okay whatever like no this is the time to get right with god you know and don't lose hope because god is in control but god wants you to be right and right means to start letting go of things that are not nourishing to you you know things are not going to build you up to be a better person to be closer to god to be a better christian so just think about that thank you so much for watching guys i hope it's getting cloudy here i know it's gonna rain so thank you so much for watching and subscribing to my channel to know more about me and what it is that i do all the links are right here in the description box or you can visit julissadesigns.com thank you have a great week bye Hello, my friends on TikTok. This is Michael Goy, the writer director of Megan is Missing. And I was uh got a, I got a text from Amber Perkins, the lead actress in my movie, that it was exploding on on TikTok at the moment and I didn't get to give you the customary warnings that I used to give people before they watched Megan is Missing, which are do not watch the movie in the middle of the night. Do not watch the movie alone. And if you see the words photo number 1 pop up on your screen, you have about four seconds to shut off the movie if you're already kind of freaking out before you start seeing things that maybe you don't want to see. So apologies to those who are already posting about how the movie has freaked them out, but fair warning to those of you who are still contemplating watching the film. Thanks.